Welcome back to my videos. Thank you guys for watching these. I am... I really love this game, okay? It's it's an amazing game. Truthfully, it is. Okay, so I've noticed something with my recordings. Every time I record... Sorry, I'm just gonna turn it down so we can hear you, me better. Okay, every time I record, it ends up being like 40 minutes. So, I'm thinking... Both of the times the videos were 40 minutes, it was a war. And so I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure the wars are not good for business. So, and also, like, you normally can't see up towards the top of the screen. It For some reason, my editor cuts it out. It's weird. And um, whenever I'm saying I'm in debt, that means if you've seen the game, you would know that there's my money is negative up there. Or I'm depressed. Yeah. Sorry, you can't see it. See, right now... You can't see we're depressed, but you can see this big block on the screen. I'm at five. I'm not, I'm I'm we're negative five on happiness. But if you remember from the last video, we did crush the Carthaginians again in war, and we also kind of burnt a city. Nothing. It's nothing. So since we need to get our happiness back up, we're gonna obviously build some. We don't have anything for happiness, do we? Oh my. Okay, so this. Oh my. Um. This is a problem. <laughs> Straight up. Um. Doom. We're doomed. Um. So we're gonna just go with that for research. How are they still building wonders? So confusing. Yeah, so we're gonna just not go to war this time. I swear by it. And if I don't, you have the right to beat me up. Not really, though. Don't don't attack me. Violence is not their answer. So, every civilization, every European civilization, violence is not the answer. But also, all every European civilization. Man, look at that nice. Look at all that good land you have. Would be a shame if someone were to, I don't know, invade. Like seriously. So, as you can see, we've only got a couple, uh, um, five techs left. I did that because I thought, oh, it's not going to take 40 minutes to get five techs researched. So, I, but I was wrong. Very wrong. So we're going to try not to cut my video in half again in the editor. So I think what we're going to research first is we're going to research metal casting so we can research physics. Total of 16 turns. Okay. So we've gotten gates, we have a whole bunch of cities. I mean, we really do, and we crushed the Carthaginians. Hey, look. We, uh, look at this city. We're a religious city. We're, what religion do we believe in? Catholicism. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, we don't have, we don't, we didn't make a religion. We wanted to be atheists, but no! We can't be atheists. We, we have to have a religion. Yeah, we're just kidding. But, uh, wait, we have a trade route? Oh, yeah, we do. We needed the money. But we do have, um, positive 19 gold, positive 57 science, and positive 1 faith. I mean, we're pathetic when it comes to religion. We're just sitting here. Oh, like, just like, what's, what's religion? Hey, look at that! We're up, back up to negative 1 happiness. You know there's a problem when you say that instead of, hey, look, we're back to the pot, like, 100. To normal happiness. But, yeah. Yeah, it's not good whenever that happens. So, we're gonna try to cut, get this as fast as we can, because we kind of lost our entire army. So, it's not like we're gonna have to, like, move a whole bunch of troops around to find things. Okay. I also got a new kind of civilization sort of deal game. It's called Stellaris. It's a wonderful game. I'm wondering, hey, 
Does anyone want to see a video of that game? It's a lot more uh, exciting, I would say, than Civilization V. But it's still, but, and it's a wonderful game. I'm actually pretty okay at it. Says that, but only has played in, what was it, Cadet? The easiest mode. But, you know, beggars we can't be choosers. But, um, yeah. Oh, but, um, we've already got that. Okay, so 11 turns, we're, we're, we're doing pretty good. Oh, yay, we got another ally. Good. Except our ways are die. Yeah. You know what I, when you think about it? When, if you look at the leaders, right? Like, oh, sorry, sorry, that was a glitch. Um, like, you know, t um, um, like, um, George Washington, in the beginning of the game, he has, like, technology that, that, and it looks like it has super advanced technology. It's kind of funny, right? Who else agrees? Oh my goodness. We only have three wonders and someone else has got seven? Whoever they are, they're dead to us. Exactly. We're so good at this game. Yeah. So look, Boone. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, look, I'm so scared, I'm so scared. If people aren't happy with me, they keep you around as a leader. Oh, I'm so scared. Keep acting like that, and we're gonna whoop, your tar whoop the tar out of you again. Yeah. You know, guns would have been invent were going um, were invented in the year... I think it's like the year 13... in the 1300s, I think. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's the 1300s. <sighs> Let me check. I've got my phone right here. One second. I will rectify if I was wrong. Um, okay, let's see. Oh, wait. Wrong button. I'm not good at this. In what year were gun... What the heck? I hate this. It's were gun invented. Okay, in what year guns were invented? We will see. The first guns were in the 1300s. I'm smart. The first recorded use of a firearm was in the. Wait. Historical timeline of the development of the modern weapons started starting at 1364 with the first recorded use of a firearm and ending. In the 1892, with the introduction of automatic handguns, before the matchlock, guns were fired using a holding by holding a burning wick a, to a touch to a touch hole in the the barrel, igniting the power inside. So yeah. Also, also another fun fact. I knew this before I looked it up, obviously, but the Chinese were actually the ones who developed the first fire weapons, fire gun arms. I know what you're gonna say, but like you're gonna think, but what about why didn't they use them as much? And it's because of their honor-based traditions. The Sam, well, not Sam, well, their religions and their, well, I don't know enough about this topic to um communicate to um get, try to give you guys a lesson, but I do know one thing: they were very um oh, what's the term? They were very honorable. They they were more honorable in when it came to war than the Europeans. We're all just lucky the Mongolian Empire didn't have the that. But, uh, they actually, the first firearms were not, like, bullets. They were actually more flamethrowers. They, because they, um, had, because whenever the first black gunpowder was invented, they, it wasn't as efficient. Like, it wasn't, they wouldn't detonate strong with um, enough force. So, it was more of just a flame that launched out the enemies and they could burn enemies to the ground. But eventually the Mongols came in and brought the technology over to um, Europe. And the Europeans were like, hoo hoo hoo, I like this. And then they started going to war a lot again. I mean, it was it was half chaos. I know a little bit more about that topic, but I'll save for another video. Or I can do all it now. I'm saying it now because I really, really want to. Um. Oh yeah. And because of this, the Europeans had like started perfecting the weapons so they could kill each other better.
Screw, like, that's what they did. They made better weapons to kill each other better. I mean, it's kind of how history works. He who has the pointiest stick wins the war. It's, it's, it's true science facts. I, I learned this with science. Sure, we'll give you gold. Comrade. I wish you could, like, ask them for that, but it wouldn't be a bad thing. But, I mean, yeah. Okay, let's get back to the history talk. Um, what was it called? The, did you, the Danish actually developed the use of, um, modern warfare, actually. Um, well, um, were the first ones to develop the, um, fighting strategy of having... So, um, let me see. We've actually got the Civilopedia! Um, so, the, um, oh my goodness. The Danish fought by having two rows. The first row fired while the back row reloaded. And then whenever the back, then the back row would fire while the front row reloaded. And it would actually was the development of all the basic strategies of every war. Okay, so we're gonna be, a uh, musketeer. That's the wrong one. Um, musketman. Okay, well, I will read you the historical info from this. The musketman is a flint, the musket is a flintlock, muzzle-loading, long-barrel weapon when fired from the shoulder. Muskets were lighter and more accurate than the early military firearm, the Aguabus. By and by the 18th century, they had uh, supplanted them on most European battlefields. With the addition of the bayonet, the musket became a serviceable close combat weapon as well, rendering the pikemen obsolete. The British Army's brown bass was the archetype archetypal muskets in service from 1722. Until until 1838, it was used on, by both sides in the American Revolution. Fantastic. Okay, so now we know a little bit of the history about fire firearms. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so we I don't know why I burned that city. Oh yeah, so we can get our happiness back up. Which speaking of which, it is back at five. Woohoo! Just fantastic. Okay. Okay, this is taking a while. Um, I think the heck is going on. So we're gonna just return to map because that looked weird. So, oh, oh, look, oh. So you're wanting to give us horses? We like horses. Thank you for the horses. Only for copper. I mean, is that all you want? Okay, so we've got a lot of resources actually. I don't know, but I mean, we could. Theoretically, take out all the other civilizations later in life, but I mean, so let's go with the production focus. We can actually get, yay! We get production again. Now we'll have. It. Oh wow! We cut the um build time for the um Great East India Company in half. Wow, that's crazy. Oh no. Silo, silo. It's communism, but not yet. It'll happen. It's gonna happen. You're gonna have communism on your back. Hey, where are these guys? Okay, there's the Russian tremor in. They've only got tremorings. Okay, let's check their um. Let's check demographics. Okay. Man, look at the look, look. These guys just are depressed. Look at them. Oh yeah, cause I think I turned on um. Let me see. I think I turned on complete kills. Um, details complete. Yep, I did. So that means there's still um the units of um the Shoshone, Shoshone out there. They could still theoretically recapture their homeland. We could help them fight them off, right? I mean, I mean, we could capture. Oh my goodness, we could easily capture probably TMO, or maybe I don't think we could. Okay. Okay, so now we got this. Okay, so we've got... Oh, we're gonna get a library, obviously. So we can get more science. And our caravan. Let's get more gold. Um, Let's go with Honolulu, since they're our allies. Okay? Choosing research. We're going to go with... In case we've got three left. I'm thinking steel. So we can get the swordsman and have the ultimate unit. I mean, the best unit for the rest of the game. It's not like something, a ranged weapon's gonna come out the next te military tech we research and replace them, huh, they're gonna be a staple force in the entire game. 
wink, wink. I'm being sarcastic if you don't if you can't tell. I'm I'm just trying to be funny, I'm sorry. I was stupid. But uh yeah. D who wants to hear about something called the opium wars? If you do, tune into my next video. Hopefully this one's not 40 minutes, because I might not tell you. So like next video or the one after after that. Okay. So we're gonna go with navigation school. Even though we have no boats. We don't bar we barely even know what a boat is. Let's just tell him to sleep. You get to relax, comrade. But seriously, guys, speaking of, like, communism, we need to start working on a poll for, like, everything. Because, see, oh, okay, we're actually pretty far away. Forget that. Forget that I said anything. You know nothing. Okay. So, we Russia is better than everyone. Russia's the bomb. Filthy Soviet pigs, but was actually Czech though. No, they're actually they've only got the highest population. We're the smarterest country in the world. I said that on purpose, actually. So don't be hating. But uh, yeah. See Carthage? What a beautiful place to conquer. We can kill them very, very quickly. Shh. I'm hunting Carthaginians. Okay, so we got... We're doing pretty quick. We're going pretty fast. So we're gonna hopefully get this done soon. Okay, the East India Company... I'm gonna say... Like, if if this is longer than 40 minutes, I think when we finish the East India Company, that will be my halfway point, okay? So I'm gonna... Don't, like, if I, if it, if I don't cut it in half and it's just awkward me saying bye everyone, just, just roll with it. Just, just roll with it. Yeah. Good. Good. At least we're allies with, like, Russia. I wonder if we're all gonna be communists. I hope we all are. It'll be good for the world. Oh. Mombasa requests units. Why? What? Who's, who's invading you? Who is at war? I want to know who you're at war with. If it's with my allies, I don't want to give you soldiers. If it's with my allies, I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Hey, look, enemy denunciation of me has expired. Yippee ki yay! I don't know. Um, Mombasa seeks Russia. Why? What is your obsession with Russia? Okay, so goodbye, everyone. If this is our missed waypoint, just saying. Okay, so we're gonna get another wonder. Let's go with. Oh, this one's got ten plus happiness. Let's go with the Notre Dame. Possibly we'll be able to finish it in this time period. So, Russia. We need. A, we should establish an embassy with Russia because they're our comrades. I mean, they comrades. Yeah. So let's see. Okay, let's actually do that. We'll do that this turn. Um, let's get a forge so we can get more production. Let's talk to the Soviet Union. I meant Russia. Then didn't, didn't say Soviet Union. Okay, comrade. Okay, what do you want for this? Oh yeah, we got him. There are there. Are, they, they liked it. So now Mamba. Now whoever said we want Russia will like us because we we got we found Russia. Where the crap are they? Oh, sorry about that. They're the Russians. We'll take that iron. Wow, look at that city. That's kind of amazing looking. Yes, comrade. Okay, so I was playing on Civ 6 like, for a little bit, right? You know, like, I, you can name a religion? So I named my religion communism. It was hilarious. I could just go over and say, and use a missionary, and it would say, 300 plus communism, and it was hilarious. I laughed so hard. Yeah. Okay, so we got our, we're gonna build another university in UT. Because we need this, we need the smartness. Oh my goodness. Okay, 
Casimir's beard is not as good as Nebuchadnezzar's, because Nebuchadnezzar's looks better. Science 1000. Okay. Um, let me see. So we've got our... Okay, so Byzantinium, like the, this religion, has beaten us off. And then that... It's a, it's a, it's a religious war. Very religious. Okay, I think we've only got a couple texts left. Um, after this one, so that's good. That's a good kind of. I mean, yeah. So we're gonna. Oh, they finally ended the war. What kind of? I mean, like they did, really didn't fight each other when you think about it. Zanzibar, Zurich, search for science. I think we can help you with that, Zurich. Okay, we've got. Okay, wait, hold up. We've got two texts left, total of 18 turns. Okay. Eeny, meeny, miny, just kidding. I think we should just go with this one because of the Alamimbara. I can't pronounce it. Please help. Send help. Yeah, so. So I think I'm going to start talking more because, which I did in, in the previous two videos, because uh, I need to start doing that because I don't. It takes so long to edit in all the um, those little quotes that you see at the bottom. It's so tedious. I just have to sit there and listen, and it's just like it's been a two hours. Come on. So yeah, but we've gone. We're actually pretty close. So we've got the album, the uh, Notre Dame, pretty soon actually. Oh darn! Stop. Why why you so why did you be religious? -ist? Oh wow. We just got a spy. Let's go spy on the Carthaginians. Yeah. Moving to Carthage. Spy. Yeah. Once it gets there. Ye. But yeah. Um yeah. <clears throat> um, let me find. Huh. So, I was playing, I have a new game, uh, you, I talked about a little bit earlier, called Stellaris. It's a really fun game, oh, look, we're depressed. Um, it's a fun game, I mean, I don't know how I would record it, because the text was so weird. Like, maybe every one tech, I, every three texts I research, that would be one video. I mean, that makes sense. And whatever happens in that time period happens. Um, let me think. Um, but it's a really fun game. I, I really enjoy it. I, I'm a little... I'm okay at it. I, if I do say so myself, which I do say so myself. Um, but I, I mean, I'm on the easiest for mode, so I don't think that counts. But if it does... Oh my gosh. Why? With the war all the time, every day. If you want to get m maced, Mombasa, be my guest. Like, seriously, though. But actually, I might actually aid you against the Zulus. They got a lot of gold. I thought we had, for a second there, I thought we had less gold than Poke uh, the uh, Shoshone. Okay, we have nine turns left, guys. Maybe. Yeah, we have nine turns left. Once we get the print in Paragish, we will control the gla the the conference thing. I forgot what it was called. The World Congress. Yeah, that's the new word for it. Um. So yeah, we're really close. Um. Okay, can we get this? Oh, so we're not gonna finish the Notre Dame in this time period. I mean, we could go to war. I mean, that might add some time. Not really, though. I was just kidding. We got Catholicism. Okay. Oh. Oh dear. Oh my. Look at the Carthaginian city. Yeah, well, let's have an MC. Carthage. Okay, let's check our. Let's view their city. Yeah. Look at this. Great writer. Hmm. They suck. Yeah, so they suck. I feel don't feel bad for them after they try to be a, hold a Darth Vader on us for quite a while. 
Oh my gosh, there's so much religion going on. So we got Eastern Orthodoxy, Catholics, the Ca Catholic Church, Catholicism, that's the word. I mean, we're just like being overrun, too, so much religion. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay, so here we go. Oh my goodness. Jeez. These guys are nuts. Okay, so we got ten turns, six turns left. I can't unclick oh, this dude. Get off, you little turt. Oh my goodness. Automate. Okay, now we're done. We're done with this. So, I thought that you, you would think that in City Ruins there would be like a special thing for it. That would make sense. Okay, so we got either Orthodoxy, Catholicism, Catholicism, Atheism. So yeah, that's fun. So yeah. Oh man. Man, we're, this is taking a little. I think next game I want to play is um, Attila the Hun. And go nuts and bananas with war. As much as I can. Because I've pl done him before just once. And it was fun. I almost took out the entire continent in like uh, less than 200 turns. It was fun. Yeah, it was awesome. But, uh, as you can see, we've got several great wonder people over here. And then we've got, we're going to get, we got, we got walls. We need to build some walls. Okay, which city became religious? Okay, so you're Catholicism. Catholicism, either an orthodoxy, atheist. Fascinating. Okay, we'll take that gold. M -m 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 I don't know. Um, we're almost done, man. Okay, we're going to war. Just kidding. Okay, but I'm kind of tempted now. And there goes Carth. Carthage is now a religious state. But yeah, I want that. I wanted the Alamanbara. Hate you. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah. So we we're doing pretty well. I mean, we don't got the most land, but we got the- we're the smarterest country. Okay, let's move this actually to our capital so they can't steal text from us, because, I mean, that's what they're gonna do. A lot. Like, a lot. Oh, my goodness. Um, yesterday I uploaded- wait, no. My- no, nothing. Just nothing. I was being stupid. I'm gonna be editing a video after this, so- um, okay, well everyone, hope you enjoyed, hopefully you, this is a, for only one video, so, have a wonderful life, and do good things.